What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we are gonna look at one sticking for saddle hunting. Is it really as hard as it looks? And is it scary? Really, it's not that bad, so stay tuned. So if you've been following along the saddle hunting community for any length of time, you notice that it just seems to morph and, and change uh, as more years go on by. And so it seems like the latest trend the last couple of years has been one sticking uh, rather than doing multi sticks in a platform. So in this video, we're going to break down the basics of one sticking. I'm also going to do a different video on what it takes getting up and down side by side. I've also done another video a month or two ago where I look at comparing one sticking versus multi-sticking versus hybrid approach. And quite honestly, there's a bunch of other hybrid approaches as well. So let's get a couple things out of the way. First of all, I've been one sticking for about two months. I've been saddle hunting for about three years with the multi-stick method. So I've got a lot more experience in multi-sticking than one sticking. The holy grail, in my opinion, of one stick information is a guy by the name of Greg Staggs. Staggs in the Wild is his YouTube channel. I seriously recommend if you want to go down a rabbit or a rabbit hole of one sticking, go to his channel. That dude covers everything. Okay, I'm not professing to, to do what he does, uh, and I'm not taking anything away from what he does. He's actually a friend of mine. Uh, so all credit goes to him. He's who I went to when I decided I'm going to try this one sticking out. A couple other things. Climbing is inherently dangerous. Anytime we hunt when our feet are off the ground, whether it's one feet, 20 feet, or 30 feet, it is inherently dangerous. I am not telling you how to climb. I'm not telling you this is what to do. You take your safety into your own hands, educate yourself, and be as safe as you're comfortable with and never exceed uh, you know, your comfort zone, okay? All that being said as well, I am not married to any of the brands, the equipment that I'm using here today. I'm not promoting them. I do have kind of a, an, a, a friendship affiliation with guys of Latitude, but I'm not here to push their products, okay? I tend to be, if you followed any of my stuff along, I tend to be a premium product guy, okay? That's what I'm going to be using here today is what I feel are premium products. But you can do this with essentially a, a zillion different options out there. The beauty of the saddle hunting community, uh, whether it's multi-sticking, one-sticking, and all that. Now, man, all these companies, I mean, you just rattle off the list. They're, they're all great companies, and they're all making great products, and they're just innovating and innovating. It came from the ATA show last week in Indianapolis here in 2023, and man, the companies were just introducing some of the coolest stuff you've ever seen. So all that said, let's talk about the basics of one-sticking, the basics of the gear that you need, I like to try and take away some of the confusion because it can be so intimidating. Uh, I joke about, you know, a lot of my videos are for the older hunter. I'm 53, granted that's not old, but I get a lot of feedback from guys who are in their 50s, 60s, even 70s who do saddle hunt, who one stick or are interested in doing it. So it applies everything from, you know, a 20 year old all the way up to a 70 year old. And what I'm gonna tell you, anybody can do this and it's no big deal. All right, so there's some basic things you're gonna need. You need the same things when you're one sticking that you do when you're multi-sticking and you're saddle hunting. You need a quality saddle, okay? Uh, again, this is a latitude method too, but you choose the flavor that fits you. I recommend you get something that works for you, okay? So I've got my saddle on right now, okay? I also have a linesman rope. Okay, there's plenty of videos on this. This one's daisy chained. I did a video on how to daisy chain this. Look it up. Go to my one saddle hunting video for 101 for old guys or geezers like me, okay? Go check all that out. Basically, I've got my linesman rope here. I've got a dump pouch that all it really right now carries when I'm one sticking is my gear uh, hanging strap that goes around the up on the tree. 
I personally like knee pads. Some guys don't wear knee pads, that's cool, okay? But the same applies for me, that's what I like. Okay, that's essentially the basics. I do still use a bow, bow pull-up rope, but there are options for that uh, beyond that. But I like a pull-up rope, this is a Doyle's. I've gone over all this gear in some previous videos. Where you differ is, instead of a pile of sticks, of three or four climbing sticks, two, three step with eighters, all that stuff, you need a one stick, okay? This happens to be the ultimate one stick from uh, Eastern Woods Outdoors. Again, I'm not endorsing them. I've met the guys, they're great. I like their products. I think they make a great product, okay? So basically, this is a one stick. Uh, what you got here is it, what's important in a one stick is that you've got a cam cleat and a rope to hold it on the tree. I'm gonna unwind mine real quick here so you can see it, okay? And I use a two-step aider, okay? This happens to be the 12-inch tall stick as well. Again, this credit goes to Greg Staggs. I basically said what Greg uses, I'm gonna use. And I've got an ultimator uh, aider that rolls down. So this is your climbing method right here. This is it, okay? Some other things you're gonna need. Now, there's ways to carry all this stuff. There's a product called, by, made by Ultimator. It's basically as a pack. This is my camera bag, ignore this. You can do whatever. People put the rope and everything that you need for one sticking. Some put them in dump pouches on their saddle. Some put it in a backpack. Some put it in a, a accessory pouch that they mount it differently. I just choose to do it this way. For me, the Molly strips work good. It mounts right to my camera pack. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you the basics that you're gonna need, okay? The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need climbing rope, okay? Right here is 40 feet of Canyon Elite climbing rope. This came from Eastern Woods Outdoors. Again, I just basically went and bought everything from them, okay? And on this rope, let me set this down. On this rope, on one end, you're gonna need what we call a quick link. There's triangle ones, there's oval ones. Okay, this is actually made by Kong. It's claiming, climbing, climbing rated, sorry about that. You're gonna need what we call a locker, okay? Again, saddle hunting, we like our terms. This is called a locker, and we're gonna talk about this, but this basically keeps, when you girth hitch this around the tree, it keeps everything from sliding, okay? And allows you to retrieve it, which we're gonna talk about. On the other end of this rope, I actually have a piece of Dynaglide, and I use this personally to haul my camera bag up. I clip my camera bag on here, and I haul it up when I'm up there. Some guys use this as their bow hoist, okay? there's. The beauty of this is there's a zillion different ways to do this, okay? My way is not necessarily the right way, it's just one way. But you definitely need climbing rope. I got 40 foot of Canyon Elite. You need an ascender or a descender device, okay? So um, this happens to be a Mad Rock Safeguard with a climbing rated made by Kong Carabiner on this. This is what's going to hold me while I'm up and allow me to rappel down. It's a mechanical device. You should probably back this up if you want to be truly safe. Either with some Prusik cord going above it onto your line or using what we call an auto block. Again, we got all these technical terms, Prusik, Swabish, auto block. They're just easy wraps where you take a loop of rope and you wrap them different ways. There's a gazillion YouTube videos to do it. They're all very similar in the types of knots. So you'll get guys to say one's better than another, whatever. Prusiks are simple, that's what I use if I'm gonna back it up. But you, there are also, you can use figure eights, they can, you can, there's a Grigri, which is a, a climbing rated device, there's, you can use carabiners. Personally, I spent the money, I'm a premium guy, I got the Mad Rock. And then you're going to need a retrieval rope, okay? This is Dynaglide, there's 40 foot of it on here. Again, Eastern Woods Outdoor sells this, comes with the little carabiners on the end. And this is so I can retrieve my rope when I come back down, okay? Those are the basics of one sticking that you need, okay? It's not a lot of gear, but it is different. And again, we get all these confusing terms. It's not confusing, folks. I promise you, okay? If a guy like me can understand it, you all can understand it as well. Digest information on YouTube. Again, Stags in the Wild, great channel. There's others that, that do it too. Digest as much as you can, okay? So we're gonna reposition the cameras here a little bit and I'm gonna go up maybe just a couple climbs and give you the basics, show you the basics of rappelling down and show you kind of some of the shooting positions and how it's essentially the same once you get up there as your, tradi your traditional stick climbing with platform method. So it's just a variant of saddle hunting. So 
Let me reposition and we'll go. All right, so breaking this down to the basics. Normally, I would probably leave this in my pack and I'd hoist my pack up, but for the demonstrations here, I'm not, so I'm gonna put it in my pocket and I'm gonna keep my mad rock here in my pocket just for a few minutes, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your one stick. You, again, you've got am steel is what I recommend for the rope. Don't just get rope from your hardware store. Same with the, the 40 foot climbing rope. Get climbing, relate, climbing rated ropes, okay, for everything you need. We're gonna stick this on the tree. I personally like to put that cam cleat somewhere around eye level or so, all right? We're gonna wrap it around, okay? And we're gonna basically pull it through the cam cleat like this, and we're gonna throw it on top, and then we're gonna seat the stick into the tree, okay? So that's our first position when we are one sticking, all right? The reason this is above, when I get up here, I need to be able to access this rope, I need to grab this and pull it up, okay? A couple things that we also need to do. I'm, in this case, pretending we're bow hunting, okay? So I'm gonna have to have my bow hooked to a pull-up rope of some sort. Again, personally, I use the Doyles. Some people use their, their uh, uh, climbing rope, whatever. So I'm just going to hook onto this. And I'm gonna lay my bow off to the side here, okay? I need my climbing rope. Okay, there's different ways to do this. Some guys leave it in the pack. Personally, I get it all out because I use this to haul my pack out, up. You figure out the way that works best for you, okay? People will tell you, oh, my way is the right way. BS, there's a zillion ways to do this. I get my rope out. When you wind all this stuff up at the end, you're gonna do it kind of like figure eights, like an extension cord, and it's not gonna tangle, okay? Open this thing up, the quick link up. I throw it around my neck here so that it's all ready to go. One of the things I actually like to do is I like to run it up through my uh, linesman loop over here. It helps me keep the rope out of the way and all kind of, you know, to my body rather than it just dangling, okay? Just throw a chunk of it around there. I've got my mad rock right here in my pocket. The next thing I want to do is I want to get my linesman belt out. In my case, we're going to undaisy chain it. And you're gonna see that this is easy, folks. Like, you do not have to be a young athlete to do this. Now, arguably, you're a lot heavier guy, and I used to be, okay? I dropped 60 pounds in the last couple of years, feel better about life and everything. It's much easier if you don't have a big beer belly sticking out there. I would also say that one sticking may be the ideal thing for women as well because um, women, as, as science has proven, their center of gravity is closer to their hips and you're being supported with your saddle at the hips. Whereas guys, our center of gravity tends to be in our upper torso area. And you're gonna see when I turn over to retrieve the stick, if your center of gravity is around your hips, there's like no big deal. So women, you may wanna consider doing it this way. And it's just less stuff to carry in the woods. Okay, so I've got my linesman belt ready, okay? And we are going to tie off with that linesman belt when I get up to basically this bottom step area right here, okay? So, aiders, we've got an aider here. We wanna be careful. I did a whole video on what aiders are, how to use them, plant that foot in there, okay? And if you're scared at this point, you can put the linesman belt around right here. You do you when it comes to safety, okay? So you're gonna grab that stick and you're gonna pull yourself up and I like to get to this point right here, okay? And then I'm gonna take my linesman belt out, wrap it around the tree, and I'm going to clip in. And now I've got something to keep myself restrained back here, okay? I can come on up. And now I can get to this position right here. Now I'm gonna quickly jump down and reposition these cameras up a little bit so that you can see me do this next move fully in frame, okay? But as you can see, I'm completely okay. Okay, camera's repositioned. So as you can see, I'm up here, I'm safe, I can work hands-free. It was really no effort 
getting up here. Okay, so here's where now, instead of having a tether, like you would in your multi-sticking and climbing up, you can use this rappel rope. Now, I'll say there are some guys who one stick with their tether and then only break the rappel rope out to rappel down. Again, you do you, but this is the way I do it. I use multiple ropes, okay? So you can bring this up here. I like getting it somewhere around head height or so, okay? And then basically you're gonna take your quick link and you're gonna close it. And I always joke there's nothing quick about a quick link, but anyways, okay? So you're gonna close it. Now, the locker, this is a 3D printed product made by, it's called the Ohm. I'd have, I'll have to look at the company online, I can't remember it. Basically, that locks on, and so now that keeps everything from sliding down, okay? We're gonna get out our Mad Rock, okay? I'm doing this slowly because I'm talking, okay? I'm going to, I've got a video, another video I'm going to film where I do it side by side. I'm not gonna talk and you'll see that it's actually a quick process. Understand how your Mad Rock or your Grigi or your figure eight works or whatever in the Mad Rock. Basically, I put the hole down into the left and I come through the left side and come up through the right side, close it, Go down through, Greg Skaggs tip right there, go down through, you can slide this down. Then you can clip into your bridge on your saddle and your end, okay? So now, this is where I love a two panel saddle when it comes to one sticking, because you're gonna want that seated position, okay? So now, I'm in that. If I Now at that point, I can actually unclip off of my linesman. Let's take some slack out of this. You can see like at hunting height, this is exactly, this is exactly like you'd be on a saddle. Now, obviously I'm only six feet off the ground, but anyways, you can see I could do anything that I could do multi-sticking on a platform in a saddle in this setup. Okay, so how do we make the move and continue up this tree? Because it just seems like it'd be a ton of work, doesn't it? Well, it's really not. I want to make sure your, your tether's good. Just double check my locker there. Anyways, all right. So what I basically do is, once I get up on the first move, I let a little bit of line out. Again, the Mad Rock, follow the instructions how to do it. I get to kind of almost a seated position here. Get my saddle kind of where I want it, okay? Basically, that's what we do. I personally like to come in with both my legs on each side of the tree. Greg Staggs always says, I'm gonna reference him, there's no calories being burned. Guys, this is so easy. Like seriously, I'm sitting here super comfortable, okay? I roll down. Now again, some guys, some guys go off to the side. I don't like that. I like this. I roll down. This is where I said women, where your center of gravity is closer to your hips. When you roll, you're more balanced. Us guys, our center of gravity is up in our torso, maybe even up in our chest. Now all of a sudden you're taking all that weight and you're going like this and you're like, you can feel it pulling. But it's no effort whatsoever, okay? You're gonna reach down, you're gonna grab your rope and you're gonna grab this little draw. You'll pull up, swing that out, that's it. You're gonna come in here. I put my foot against the tree. You're using the leverage of the rope, okay? Put your foot against the tree. Bring your stick up, wedge it between the rope and the tree. Now all that's holding it. Like, this is so simple. Wrap your rope around the tree, come up, lock it in there, take your rope, go up top, okay? Back off and set your stick, boom. No different than you'd set a stick in multi-sticking. Again, you see I'm using the leverage of the rope and the tree, and I'm holding myself off. I literally have consumed no calories. Again, stealing from Greg Staggs in terms. Put my foot in the aider, grab this, step up. Now, you wanna avoid slack, but you're gonna have slack. You want to minimize your slack in your system, okay? 
So you're going to see slack. You're going to step up. I get to this point, and I immediately go right back to my linesman belt. Clip in. Okay, now there's no slack. I had slack for a few seconds. Step up. Basically, I bring my linesman belt. I like it fairly high, and I'll show you why here. I'm gonna bring my rope up to just below it. And then I'm gonna move my linesman belt just below my rope. And I'm gonna slide this up some more. Okay. And then I'm gonna stand up onto this step. And I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. And then it's just repeat the process, okay? So literally, if I wanna make a move again, I'm gonna drop this down. Now, right now, I can tell you exactly how high I am because in my pocket, I have a laser measure. So you saw me in two moves from my feet to the base of the tree is 10 feet, 10 inches. So basically, in, two, in an initial move and one move up, I'm already 11 feet. Okay, so I'm basically chunking off five feet at a time. Five, five and a half feet at a time. So I make another move, I'm gonna be in the 15, or I guess in the 16 foot range, okay? And then another move, I'm gonna be at the 20 to 21 feet range. I mean, it literally is that simple. So if I wanna make a move again, basically, and I'm not going to, cause I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull up my bow here and show you some stuff. But if I wanna make the next move again, I'm gonna come into the tree. I'm gonna roll around. I'm gonna grab this rope. I'm gonna undo that, okay? I'm gonna pull it up, push off the tree, wedge it in here, and keep on going up, okay? I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna to get too far away from the cameras and it's just repeating the process. So let's say now we are in our hunting position. Now I'm 15 feet, 18 feet, 20 feet, wherever it is you want, okay? I love this tree because I can go up like 30 feet if I want to, it's a great demo tree. Now it's no different than any hunting situation, okay? So I would typically take this rope, I would pull it all up with my bag, hang my bag off uh, the side of this with my, um, with my gear, with my gear hauler or my gear, my gear hanger. Okay. And I would hang my bag up here. And basically I can, once I get up here, I give myself a couple feet or so and shake out some of the, the rope here because I'm not hauling my bag up. But basically I'm going to take a couple seconds when I'm up here and I'm going to figure eight wrap this rope up just like this. Okay. Oops. Okay, and now I can take this rope that's now figure eighted, fold it over, and I can put it right into my pack that's hanging here. If I wasn't using a pack and just using dump pouches, I could put it in there. And it's all sitting here ready to go, okay? And I don't have it just hanging everywhere, okay? So I'm just going to lay that right there for right now. Um, my bow, I can haul my bow up just like I would if I was saddle hunting. Okay. And now I have my bow. One of the cool things is I don't need my linesman anymore. Once I'm up here, the beauty of, um, one sticking is I don't need my linesman anymore. Once, once I'm at my hunting height. Okay. I'm not going to need it coming down where I would multi-sticking. So now I can daisy chain this, or if you prefer to put in a dump pouch, you can do whatever you want to do. I love daisy chaining. I do it all the time for all my ropes and gear. It's just such efficient way. So now it's out of the way. Okay, so now I'm up here, I'm hunting. I have my bow, I'm gonna hook my bow here. 
Love this too. You got the bridge to work with. You can lay your bow across your bridge. Okay, so now I'm here hunting. My bow's hanging. In my case, I got camera gear and all that stuff. It really is not a time, a process that's very time consuming. Um, and again, this now it's no different than saddle hunting, okay? I can do all the shots, all the same shots as I could when I was saddle hunting off of a platform and off of sticks. You know, I can even do the roll around this direction and shoot that way, okay? One of the things that you are limited in my situation I'm at right now is all I've got is this platform to work with. Where if you've watched other videos of mine where I multi-stick, I typically have a step or a stick at the same level, 90 degrees or so, so that I can walk around. You can use like squirrel steps or Bowman Outdoors has their, um, oh shoot, I can't even think of the name of it right now. But anyways, they're little steps that, that go around on a strap, um, ring of steps. Anyways, you can use those. I've used them, I'm playing with them, I'm still trying to work out that system. This morning I hunted one stick off of this and I took my platform that I would normally multi-stick and I set it 90 degrees and then I had a big work surface. Um, but again, there's no, there's no one way to do this. You figure out what way works for you and maybe you hunt one way one hunt and a different way another hunt, it doesn't matter. But as you can see now, you got access just as you would any other you know, way of saddle hunting. It just is so flexible and you can just do so much with it. So, and I'm only out of breath because I talk a lot, not because of the process. So anyway, so we're gonna let this down and then we're gonna show you one of the coolest parts about one sticking. And that's the repel, which you can repel multi-sticking too. I did a video that shows that. So, bow goes down to the ground. Again, you gotta imagine now we're up, we're only up 11 feet here, but might be up there 20 feet, 25 feet, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so the one caveat to coming down is we've gotta get this system down, okay? And that is where that orange Dynaglide rope that I mentioned comes into play. Okay, I have this nicely wound up. There's a figure eight method that you can do to wind this stuff up. Lots of videos on it so that it doesn't tangle, okay? And you're going to basically take it, hold one end, you're gonna drop the rest of it down, okay? Now, I dropped it down here for camera purposes so you could see it. I actually want it on my left side. It works better for me, okay? In my locker, there's a loop. I clip that on. You can do other lockers. You just gotta clip this on so that you can get this down because when, what we're gonna do is when we're on the ground, we're gonna pull this, the locker's gonna pop off, you're gonna relieve pressure and this whole rope's gonna come down. This even works going over limbs. You're just gonna pull the whole rope up over limb. So lockers on there, we got that on there. Now, and again, I did not back this up with a Prusik. You can do that, I often do that. I did it for this video. You can do an auto block down here. You figure out the way you wanna back your system up. Again, the descender, you can use figure eights, gree gree. Again, I like the Madrox safeguard. And this is the cool part because now, you're just gonna sit here and you're just gonna let yourself down, okay? And then when you get to this point here, hopefully I am still in frame on at least one of the cameras. Now you can take your one stick and you can package everything up. This is an ultimator pouch, roll pouch, and these things are great for your aiders. Okay. And then you're gonna take your stick. You're going to undo it. I personally like to just wind mine up real quick with my rope and tuck it through one of the holes in the platform. Run it down through the cam cleat. Boom. And then I have a hook on the side of my saddle that I can hook this on to send it. We're only 10 feet off the ground. I'm just gonna toss it down so it's out of the way. Okay, so boom. We're gonna descend down. I'm gonna reposition the cameras and we're gonna get that down. Woo! 
boom. All right, so we repelled down to the ground. Okay, I can unclip out of my mad rock. Uh, I can open my mad rock up. Take it out. Boom. Again, you figure eight, gree gree, carabiner, figure out the method for you. And now I've got a rope that's stuck up in a tree. Okay, so this is where the beauty of our orange cord comes in. Okay, you're gonna take your orange Dynaglide or green, they sell it in green. You're gonna stand back just a little bit away from the tree and you're gonna give it a pull and the locker comes off. You see that? And now you pull and the whole thing comes right down to the ground. It's really kind of that simple. All right, so once it's down to the ground, then it's just a matter of rope management. And again, there's videos on how to do this, but you figure eight this Dynaglide over your thumb and pinky, and you got 40 foot of it. It really doesn't take all that long, as you're gonna see. And then you pull it off and I take the tag in and I wind it around there several times really tight and take the little carabiners and just lock them on each other and you're ready to go and it won't tangle for the next time. You can put that away in your pouch. You can take your Mad Rock, you can put it in your pouch or however you store it. Um, you can take, either pull all that rope through if you want to or open up your quick link. Some guys put their mad rack back on their rope. I personally don't, that's just me. I typically start at the end that would be pulling up my backpack, just the habit I get into. And again, you're going to do your figure eight on your arm. And the reason you figure eight is then it does not tangle. It's very slick. You can do it the just the oval looping like extension cord, but if you figure eight, it's not gonna tangle. You take that, me, I fold it over, and boom, it goes right back into my bag that uh, goes on the side of my camera bag. So, so that, folks, is the essentials of one sticking, okay? It really is not complicated at all. It sounds complicated. It looks like it would be a lot of work. It really isn't. You do not have to use this kind of one stick. You can take a normal climbing stick and do it, put an aider on it. You're pretty much though gonna want to do a cam cleat. Um, I've seen guys do it where they do the different tie offs and stuff, it's just more work. The cam cleat is just a, so much easier and less effort when you're reaching down trying to undo things. Uh, it's smoother, it's faster, just all around. Again, you don't have to buy this product. Um, Out on Limb makes a great one as well. Um, uh, and there's some others to do. You can make your own, do whatever, but that's it. I hope that helps you. I hope that takes out some of the intimidation in one sticking. It is not the end all be all, okay? It is not the way that you have to do this. You get so many guys that say that this way is the only way. Figure out a way that works for you. I mean, really that's what it amounts to. Figure out a way that you're comfortable with and you're safe. Again, take your own safety into your own hands. Be safe as always. I hope this helps you. Check out all my other videos on saddle hunting and, and uh, climbing methods and, and all that, um, you know, my hunt videos and everything. Please, please stay safe. God bless. And it's a new day in the outdoors.